you know, we still can add beautiful flowering plants to our landscapes to provide great color for us through the heat of summer. We always tell people to plant bedding plants in well-prepared, well-drained beds. Does that sound familiar to you, well-drained beds? 90% of what we grow enjoy that good drainage, but there are some plants I'd like to show you that tolerate less than ideal drainage, will even tolerate boggy or soggy soils. So if you have a low area in your landscape that tends to stay wet, these are wonderful plants for those areas. Or if you have a rain garden, a, a real trend these days, these are excellent choices for rain gardens as well. Let me start off with this beautiful hibiscus. This is the Luna hibiscus. The flowers are really large on these. They'll be larger once you get them in the ground. They bloom all summer. We'll grow in boggy soil, even some standing water or regular beds as well. But these Luna hibiscus is going to be about three feet tall and wide and are just lovely in the landscape. Now look at this gorgeous textural plant. This is papyrus, uh, the papyrus that you read about uh, in Egypt in the Bible. This is the same plant. And this is a wonderful plant to plant in boggy, wet areas as well. Hardy in South Louisiana, mulch thoroughly in North Louisiana, you may get it through winters that are relatively mild. And finally, this is the cardinal flower derived from native species, a beautiful plant for growing in wet areas, gets to be about two feet, three feet tall, gorgeous red flowers, highly attractive to hummingbirds. So if you have a low, poorly drained area, a boggy area, or a rain garden, consider planting the beautiful Luna hibiscus, this gorgeous papyrus for texture, and these bright red flowers of the cardinal flower, wonderful plants for your landscape. Forget it growing. I'm Dan Gill with the LSU Ag Center.